In this video, I'm giving away free stock footage of space that I shot. I went up into our galaxy and went somewhere random and I just pulled out my phone and took some video and I'm giving that away for free for you guys. <laughs> hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone's doing excellent today. Be sure to follow me on Instagram for more free tutorials. Now, of course, I'm not giving away stock footage of space. That was a dumb joke, uh, but I am going to show you how to create space right here in After Effects. And of course, we're not just going to be creating some simple stars in the black background. We're going to add some energy or should I say some nebulas with some dust and things like that So you have some options to work with with your space uh, After Effects comp. So let's jump in. Let's get started Alrighty, here we are in After Effects. We're gonna have a fun time creating that space scene. So we'll come here to tutorial composition I'll just have a title in here and a background we'll talk about in a second But let's go ahead and create some stars to start off in our first technique here So we'll go to a layer new solid Make sure that the color is set to white and click OK and you can call it stars. Then we're going to go to effect, simulation, and we're going to grab CC star burst. All right, we're going to come here to scatter and set that up to 75, or should I say set down to 75. We'll come here to speed, set this to 0 0.05. Come here to grid spacing, set this to 7, and come here to size and set this to 20, so it'll be really small. So now we're going to have these stars kind of just floating towards us, you know, kind of like space, if you will. All right, what we can do here is take this layer and we go to edit, duplicate, so now we can create some smaller variations here. So this time around, maybe I'll set the scatter up to maybe 85, and we'll come here to the grid spacing, set this to 2. So now we have a little bit of variation in our stars. All right, so now we're going to create this fog or nebulas type things here in the space because you know if you just have some stars in here you know on a black background that's just not enough so we're gonna go ahead and create this so what we'll do is go to layer new solid and i'll call it flare one and we'll come into color make sure it's set to black and click ok then we'll go to effect generate and we're gonna grab lens flare all right then i'm going to effect color correction and i'm gonna grab tri tone and i'll come here to the middle color and we can select like a nice bluish color here and click OK. Then we'll go to Effect, Distort, and we're going to grab Turbulent Displace. Alright, so this is a crazy little technique, but we're going to really mess things up. So we'll come here to the Amount, and we'll set this up to like 525. Come here to Size, and we'll set this up to like maybe 30. Then come here to Displacement, and we'll set this to Turbulent Smoother. And then let's go to Complexity, set this up to 10. Nice, so now you're going to get that foggy cloud type look or dust, whatever. And we'll come here to the evolution alt click the stopwatch and we're going to type in time asterisk 100. okay then we come here to blend mode and set this to screen beautiful so now what we can do is come here to say flare brightness we can alt click the stopwatch for flare brightness and we'll type in a uh, wiggle open parenthesis maybe 0.5 comma 20 close parenthesis beautiful so there'll be a little bit of unique animation there and we come here to the flare center and we can grab the x coordinates you'll have an anchor point here and you can move this around your scene however you see fit now you can adjust some of these parameters so we come here to like lens type and set this to like 105 prime and you'll get a bunch of different looks so the goal here is we'll take the flare one here we'll duplicate it and then we'll go back to lens flare we can move this over to another side or whatever you want to do with it and we can just make some quick adjustments to like the amount and the size we can also bring down the brightness you know you can also change the lens type back to you know something else so you just create some little variation there and we can come here and duplicate this like a few more times around our composition um, and if we want we can also use a different color in our midtone so we'll do maybe like a red one and you can increase the brightness if you want to kind of make that pop a little bit more so it's really up to you how you want to do this but you're going to go ahead and duplicate these and move it around your composition and before we move further into our tutorial, I want to give a huge shout out to our 1400 Motion Graphics Professionals Pack right here for After Effects. So this is our Motion Graphics Professionals Pack, which has over 1400 templates right here for After Effects, along with a handful of categories. But one category we'll take a look at is the titles. So what you can do is preview a template before you apply it, and when you find the right template, you click on Apply. And with a click of a button, we have a full title animation inside of our composition. We can go into that comp and quickly change out our titles. And you can easily change colors with a click of a button. And everything will update in our main composition. This animated background is from our motion graphics high tech category where you can just apply a really cool background. We also have some really cool particle overlays in here as well that you can apply into any After Effects project. So if you're looking to save time and produce awesome work and have access to all the templates you need for any After Effects project, you can take a look at any of the packs we have off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting this YouTube channel. So thank you very much. Now I went ahead and created several different copies of this, move some colors around, but I want to go ahead and enhance the scene by a little bit more. So 
you know, we want to really make this pop. So what we're going to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll go to effect, noise and grain, and we're going to add noise to this. Make sure you do this. Maybe set up like 12% uncheck use color noise. And then we'll go to effect color correction. It will grab curves and we'll just create somewhat of an S curve here to contrast out this by a little bit. And that looks really nice. I also want to go up to layer new null object and parent all the space or lens flares that we have here and parent it to the null object. Come here to the beginning of our timeline and hit S on our keyboard for scale and add a keyframe for that. And we'll move forward in our timeline to the end. And we'll just kind of scale inward a little bit so these will be coming towards us in our scene. So we're kind of like flying by, if you will. And one last thing we'll do is add a quick little background for like a, a gradient feel. So I'll go to create a new solid, you call it background. And we'll bring this underneath to the bottom of everything. And we'll go to effect, uh, generate, and we'll grab a gradient ramp. And we'll come here to start of color and we'll do like a very dark red, kind of like this. And we'll come here to end of color and do like a very dark blue. And this will help make the scene pop in color a little bit. You know, it's completely up to you, optional. So when it's all said and done, you can see that putting together a space scene like this is very easy to do. And you know, you have some options to work with in creating your own look. So now you can tell everyone that you went up to space and shot your own footage, or you can secretly just not tell them you did this here in After Effects. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creative.